What's up guys? So what we're gonna do today is put this uh, tail light tent on the scat pack. And I ordered it from Anchor Room here. They sent it to me in this sweet box, first class. And when you open it up here, uh, Anchor Room always has good packaging. I know a lot of people uh, use another vendor for their tents, but uh, got a couple of stickers here that they sent me, in, which I've ordered a bunch of stuff from Anchor Room before, not sponsored by them. I just like their tent. Uh, and you've got your tents here. And I got the light smoke. It's got it marked here on which side is going to be your driver's side. Uh, that also comes, they give you a couple business cards here. All right, so you can scan these right here to go to their different social medias. I'll try to flatten this out so I can see it better. For anchor room here. And on this side, you got your instructions. Now they, they recommend uh, to install only a 70 degrees or warmer. Uh, it's probably about 60 something right now. Uh, so I'm a little under, but I've installed it before in these cooler temperatures. Uh, and I've got the application fluid uh, already lined up here in these bottles. I got my white bottle that's got the soapy solution in it and then my uh, blue top bottles, it's got clean water and I use purified water uh, when I'm installing these tents. Forgot to mention is that uh, they got this goof proof ease of mind guarantee with Anchor Room. And I've actually had to use this before when I've messed up their tents. If you mess up, on the tents and you can contact them and they will sell you uh, single pieces at discounted prices to help you out so you don't have to buy an entire kit again just a tent one little piece if you've messed it up so they're they're always 100 percent on that stuff i've had things that the post office has lost and within two or three days of it staying in one spot anchor room went ahead and sent another kit out to me uh, on them so they're great folks over there at Anchor Room and they make great products. So this right here is the tools and the things that I use. I use this squeegee right here, it's a hard squeegee. And what I do with it is I wrap the edge over this microfiber towel. Uh, if you've got a felt tipped squeegee, that's even better. I just don't happen to have one. And I got this cheap plush uh, microfiber towel here that I bought I think from AutoZone a couple years ago. I use it for stuff like this. And I use it, I put my finger through and you'll see I get it on here and I use that to try to smooth the tin out. And then of course a heat gun. And usually I just use the heat gun to kind of lock it in at the end. I really don't really don't need it too much during the process for most tents that uh that anchor room makes. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do since it's in the 60s, I'm gonna go ahead and take my heat gun and I'm gonna get this where it's a little warmed up which they don't feel cool right now because it's been sitting out in the sun. So I'm gonna go ahead and warm that up. All right, they're warm to the touch. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and take my uh, solution here, my soapy solution. I've got it marked on my bottle. Get it all over there nice and wet. Come over to the tent and they've got it marked for us for a driver's side or you can just look at it and tell which goes wet, right? I'll take the smaller piece first. Go ahead and take it out, spray it. Sure that's wet with your soapy solution. Take and line it up. Line up your edge here. Once you get it all lined up, you can take your clean water, spray your clean water over the top of it, and that gets starts moving that soapy solution out. towel here start from the center pushing out I'm applying you know medium pressure now now that I've got it kind of kind of locked go from your center push out in all directions And that's pretty much it. I mean, the tent's on there. So the next step that I'm gonna do is take my 
is uh, take my clean towel, go back over it again. I'm going to install this side real quick, and once I get this side installed and on there, I'll go back over the whole thing with the uh, heat gun. So, for this side, same exact process. Take soapy water. Take the tent off the back end. I hadn't even had to use a squeegee yet. These flat tents are, are really pretty simple, so. Get your edge lined up. Get lined up with the curve on the light. Push across the center, because this is a, a large piece. Take my clean water, hold it. Go over it with the clean water. Back with this towel, start from the center. Light pressure until you get the tent locked in. Light pressure. Got my finger through the towel here. Start with my medium pressure from the center. Get the center locked in. Go to the outer edges. And it lays in like butter. So once you get it all laid in like this, you're satisfied with where it's at. You push, you got your pressure pushed down on it. Tent's locked on. Come back with the heat gun. Let's get it heat warm. All right, I got a couple of little Bubbles forming, let it cool for just a second, come back, light, light pressure. Now that it's warmed up, you don't wanna to put too much pressure on it. It's barely warm, you know, it's not like it's, it's really hot or anything. If it was really hot, you'd wanna to not touch it because you'll, you'll curl a tin up. So, got that out. And I'm just doing this, trying to lock the tent in, really. I do this when it's warmer climates too, but especially now that it's cold out, or cooler outside in the 60s right now, I wanna make sure that I get it locked in. I always run my finger around the edges, make sure everything's good. Any little fine bubbles that you might have back behind it are gonna go away and it'll clear on up after a day or so out in, t out in the sun. So that's this side right here. Let's see if y'all can see the, the difference there. That's the anchor room light smoke on this side. My camera will stop adjusting all of its light settings here. So it's a subtle difference Actually, it looks more different in person than it does on camera. But this right here is the side with nothing. There we go, we can see it a little bit better there. And this is the side with the tent. I didn't go with the dark smoke because, you know, I don't want my reverse light to, to be blocked out anymore. You know, I, I like having bright reverse lights, especially when I'm backing around in this uh, driveway and stuff. I just didn't want them to be blacked out, so I went with the light smoke, and I'm pretty happy with it. You just pretty much repeat the exact same process for the driver's side that you did on the passenger side. Everything's labeled and marked and ready to go. Uh, like I said, these tents uh, are pretty straight. There's barely any curve on the outer edge here, so I really didn't have to use a squeegee. And most of the time when I'm putting these tents on, I use my finger in this towel anyway. I very rarely have to use a squeegee to, to do it. So, But anyhow, that's the process. Thank everybody for watching. Let me know what you think about the tent, the uh, Anchor Room Light Smoke. And uh, I'll put a link for Anchor Room Tents down in the description below. And if you got any questions, just uh, drop a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching.